Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Akaba's trip, Hellbound and Debrief. Sarah has sent you to be a certain shadow soul on the rooftop as a password Sydney of the May Cafe where Sarah works. Today we're meeting up with Sarah. Come on. All we want is a tour. Oh, I would, but I'm meeting someone. You've been waiting here for hours. Maybe your friend couldn't make it. Yeah, so how about you hang out with us till they get here? She's seeing her ass. You know, I made a real promise. Are you listening? <laughs> Man, and I thought Akiba girls were supposed to be easy. This one's ice cold. Wanna push her some more? I don't know. We could always find somebody else. But what about, you know, him? He likes them plain and boring. I don't know why. It's like a Moe thing, I guess. All right, we can step it up a little. Let's do it. What? What up, bitch? <laughs> I'm stripping. I mean, not stripping. <laughs> I dress like a boy. Who the hell are you? Hmm. Hmm. You guys. I heard you guys were looking for a toy. Huh? What did you say? You want to walk us around? Not her? Yeah. Get this fool out of here. Seriously. What's that? So I gotta fight? Just because we're looking for a tour guide doesn't mean we're looking for a tour guide. Let's just say we're looking for a good time. And not with you. I dress like a bitch. Hello? Don't you like that? Yeah, there's cute and this ain't it. Ah, you're pissing me off. Fuck it. Let's strip him naked and toss him in the river. You mean the Conda River? Yep, that's the one. Cold as shit and hard to swim in. Let's do it. Yeah, they're done. Back up, back up, back up. Now, I'm too strong. I've been grinding off camera, if you didn't know that. I'm too strong. I'm too strong. Oh, oh, me. And take your friends! And take your feet! And take your back. No, 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 no. And give me your pets! And oh. Okay, okay they're weak. Most of them. Give me your shut! Yeah. And then Give me your glasses! I'm gonna back up when he does that. They don't do too much damage. We're good, we're good. Try to grab your glasses. You just standing there. Hey! You gonna help me or something? Look at your shot then. That's it. Okay, we're good. You, you won't forget this. I, I, I mean, I won't forget this. <laughs> we fucked him over. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. That's your name, right? Yeah. This is our second time meeting like this. I... Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! The password! Um... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah! <laughs> What's your favorite maid cafe? Okay. Uh, cafe a Oh god! I was wondering what I was gonna do if you were wrong. Yes, that's correct. Hmm. Uh... You want to just to get down to business? Yeah, good idea. So, first off, thanks for coming out here. I think Rui might have told you the other day, but my name is Suzu Mori Izumi. Sometimes I call myself Rui's assistant. I'm really more like her follower. Although I do still technically outrank some of the other shadow souls, so... It's complicated. Sorry, I'm rambling. Point is, there's a hierarchy. Three tiers. Other souls like the CEO, her blood relatives are the executives, and the regular shadow souls are the peon. Basically, I was one of those peons. But Rui picked me out of the crowd, so it's almost like I am her assistant now. <laughs> Listen to me rambling about myself. Probably not what you came here for. Um, you go ahead. Ask me anything. Okay. Um, who is your faction? Rui's our leader. That makes us sound bigger than we are. We weren't too big to begin with, and the agents have been whittling us down. Right now, the core members are Rui, Chief, and me. Plus a handful of regular Shadow Souls. That's about it. Hmm, what's your favorite? What's your faction trying to do? Huh? Didn't Miss Sara tell you? We want to coexist with humans. Our kind has learned to live on human food. Instead of, you know, human food. So we shouldn't have any reason to fight anymore. But we can't get mother. 
their soul or the agents to believe that. We're just trying to live like humans among humans. Hmm. What do you want from me? We want to live without people being afraid of us. Or being afraid of them. Even if it starts with just you. And we want to ask if we can call on you for help if there's ever an emergency. Is that asking too much? Hmm. Uh, it is. I can't promise to help you. <laughs> What? Tell you that part. No, the agents are really gonna go after her. Uh, uh, why would the agents go after her? You know how I said Mother Soul's blood relatives are different? Well, the heir to Mother Soul is. Ah, shut up, shut up. Jeez. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. What do I do? What do I do? Shut up, I guess? It's alright. Hey, Louie. Because it's dangerous for you. I was worried, so I came to help. You mean like just now? That's right. Oh, thank God. Just before you told him my secret. <laughs> Jesus, girl. Uh, I'm sorry. Really sorry. I, I just wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I just blurted it out. <laughs> I was joking. Uh, it's all right. I'm not angry with you. You broke my mother's rules, not mine. No need to worry. Really? <laughs> no, that was the joke. <laughs> no, in truth, that was the joke. <laughs> Forgive me, I couldn't resist. But I assure you, I am not angry with you. That was a joke? Do you mean it? I do. Besides, he deserves to hear everything from me in person before he makes any decisions. Oh, no. Was it not? What do you say to a change of scenery? Some place a bit calmer, perhaps. I mean, Fuck it is then. I shall see you there. Uh. Okay, that's done. A pike with you? I mean, okay, I'm coming uh, dressing like this in front of you guys. It's kind of awkward. I dress like a woman because I have tits. Do you like them? Okay, when the pike. What's up now? Hello? It's so quiet. Okay. Now he's pushing us listening? again. These guys again. We just want you to give us a tour. I have a prior engagement. Come on, come on. It can't be that important. It's me. You know, maybe we need a new playbook. No, uh, I think he wants to stick with this one till it works. <sighs> Lame. I'm back, bitch. Uh Oh, look who it is! This time, you're a dead man! You're going skinny dipping, bro! You ready? Come on, you guys! Let's take him out! Anyone else feeling like big time deja vu? Well, I am now! Here. Hey! You just didn't give a hand or something? No! Ah, uh, yeah, see? I'm too powerful! I'm blocking! Why not blocking? Oh, not you! I'm trying to get one in front of you! Look at you! You're about to break down! Give me your... Oh my god, baby! Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Hey, look! I see your dick hanging out! I see your dick hanging out! I'm getting that one! Help me, babe! You're just looking at me! Oh, look! It's big! Okay, that one is... That one's why. One button. Really? Ugh, the one behind me. Stop it! They're all jumping me. Hey, nice. Give me your shot! Give me your... One button. Back up. Give me your pants! Yeah! And give me your... Oh, well. I'm late, try. Give me your shot! And give me your pets! Nice cocks, but mine is bigger. Don't you forget this! 
What's going on with these people? Thank you. I've never met anyone so badly in need of a tour guide. Hmm. Were they truly so lost? Well, no matter. So what do you want? Hmm. Um, yes, uh, pardon me. It's a bit awkward to start a conversation with one's recent mortal enemy. Hmm. Um, forget all that. We're just two people talking now. You say that so easily. Perhaps that's your nature. I do get that impression of you. You seem so casual always. It's actually rather infectious. Maybe I saw that in you when I... When I had the urge to save you. Well, let's get to the point, shall we? I believe Sara and Suzu have told you the general idea. We ask you to refrain from attacking any of our supporters. And we ask you further time comes to be ready to support us yourself as you did earlier in other words i wish to avoid fighting humans directly not for my own safety but for theirs that may sound self-serving but i assure you i speak from the heart hmm uh i'd like to know more about you hmm? um uh such as hmm who was your first kiss <gasps> i only meant to give you my blood but your lips touched mine, and I felt your tits on me. Uh, uh, yeah, look at you blushing. Aww, just fall in love with me. Okay, um, how old are you? No, say, what's your age? I wouldn't say that. Do you have any hobbies? Um, uh, well, wait. Is it not rude of a man to ask a woman's age? No. Well. Then I suppose I can tell you. Just say, what's your age, not how. Shadow souls don't count their own years the way humans do, so. I'm afraid I can't say for sure, but I will say I am much, much older than I look. Perhaps even 10 years older. As for my hobbies, what do you mean by hobbies? So in other words, a passionate pastime with no greater purpose. Uh, I'm afraid nothing comes to mind. Did your parents pass their hobbies down to you? Mine taught me only to hate humanity. Might we change the subject? Oh man, what's your routine like? My routine? I wake, I bathe, I eat, I sleep. Oh, did you mean something else? I mean, then yeah. please be clearer. I am not a mind reader. Well, aside from my missions, I spend much of my time at Uncle Shun's cafe. I work as a waitress there when the mood strikes me. Sara visits now and again. She seems determined to make a maid cafe of the place. My uncle is at the limits of his patience with her, especially when she brings those maid outfits. And that's my routine, as it were. Hmm. Uh, about my friends. My friend, the one brother fed upon. Yes, I'm sorry to say I have no remedy for him. Worse for him. Most shut-ins have a very steep uphill climb back into society, especially young shut-ins. Mother knows that well. She studied the phenomenon for years, all in preparation for this project of hers. Hmm, I see. Okay, are you the next mother soul? Yes. I am, and the agents know nothing of it. Present company accepted, of course. No one ever suspects the meek little sister, just as mother wanted. Hmm. How did Suzu explain it? I repeat what Suzu told yes. me. There are three tiers. Mother soul, her blood relatives, and the rest. Her explanation may have seemed a bit scatterbrained. But she is a devoted friend. And a cautious one. She feared this might be a trap. So she went ahead of me to speak with you. And that was even after my uncle vouched for you. Such is her nature. I should also tell you, there are four other bloodline shadow souls here in Akihabara. The one you know as chief is my uncle, Shun Anakoji. The one you might call your enemy is Yu Abino, my older brother. And then there are my two older sisters. That makes five of us. My sisters control most of the minions. My mother put the two of them in charge of the shut-in project. Our soldiers follow their orders. I believe that's why the agents have yet to focus on me. For all I know, the agents might believe there's only one shadow soul behind the project rather than two. I don't suppose they've told you anything about that, have they? Nope. I see. Well, regardless, intentionally or not, my sister's work is diverting Nairo's attention. None of the agents suspect that I'm the heir, but I will be the next mother soul. One day, all shadow souls will follow my order, and on that day, our people will be enlightened. Enlightened. Enlightened, yes. I like the sound of that. It sounds bright, yet gentle. Very well. That will be our name from this day forward. And Mother's side will be... the authoritarians? No, that rolls off the tongue a bit too well. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, regardless, once I take on the mantle of Mother Soul, 
I will lead our kind away from predation and if such a thing is still possible by then. The way tensions are rising now, I fear it might not be thus far. The agents have somehow kept us off the nightly news and out of the history books. But when Mother's grand strategy culminates, there'll be no hiding any longer. Such is my greatest fear. And so, I must act. Until now, I've held my sisters back by playing the incompetent, but it may be time to stand directly against them. I need only watch for the right moment. <sighs> Aside from Sara, I've never had such a talk with a human before, and even she and I have never spoken quite this much. She rarely has much to say, and says most of it to my uncle rather than me. You know, Mother told me never to go near your kind, and before I came here, I never did. Not once, she told me human flesh hid the heart of a monster. That you only wished to hunt us down and kill us. I saw what the agents did to my friends, and I believed her. I always believed her. But when I came here, old enough to live on my own as one of you, I saw nothing of the kind. Everyone is so unique. I whiled away the hours simply watching you. My sister said the people here only seemed peaceful because they hadn't learned of us yet. And that once they did learn, they would turn their savage nature upon us. They still say that. But conversely, if the humans never learn, we can go on living among them in peace. And as soon as that occurred to me, I began to question why we had to fight. Might I ask what a human thinks of all this? Am I in the wrong? Hmm. You are in the wrong. Do you truly think so? Still, I must hold to my beliefs. My comrades depend on it. Oh, pardon me. Here I am, barely letting you speak at all. Were you about to say something? Hmm. Um, Mother Soul. To give the shut-in project time to succeed, Mother has been moving about the country. Being Mother Soul, of course, she bears the brunt of the agents' attention. And because of that, the agents have had to split their forces. Although, for some reason, the man in charge of the agents is always here in Akihabara. Hmm, okay, tell me about your siblings. As my uncle would say, your kind and mine see our siblings rather differently. Aside from the twins, we all come from different fathers, different decades. The only thing they all have in common is resenting me for being the heir. So I resent them back. Hatred begets hatred, even from me. The three of them march in lockstep with Mother's orders. They all see humans as the enemy, and themselves as apex predators, high and mighty. I despise that about them. It's all false bravado, fluffing their feathers to hide how small they are. It's pitiful of them. It truly is. If I continue to subvert them, there will come a confrontation. And in a way, I welcome it. I cannot avoid my sisters forever. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. I see. Then I'll... Oh, one moment. I have a message. Many messages from my uncle and Suzu. When did I get all of these? Oh, I must have missed them while I was talking to you. The first message reads, oh, well, both of them are concerned for my welfare. Thank you for the meeting, but I'm afraid I have to go. Though I suppose this was less of a meeting than a simple chit-chat. <laughs> I've never been so amused with Suzu before. Could we meet again soon? Uh, all right. Then I hope we can come to be friends, and perhaps, when danger calls, allies as well. You are, of course, the man who sought your friend out in a dark alley. Your heart shone with courage that day. I saw it. And I saw how kind and noble humanity could be. That's what compelled me to save you. Very well. I shall keep my hopes up. Until next time. Not even a hug? I'm getting the feeling things are about to get rough. Oh, man. That's done. I guess. Uh, I got an email. Email. Alright, time to read, I guess. I have eyes on you, Bono. Come to any main street ASAP. I got some side quests I wanna do first before I continue. you. So, Sister Taste number two. Jesus Christ. Go meet the client, Susanna. He's got the best up the top. Of course he is. Hey, you weird O. Oh, the fuck you uh, want this time? I know this is out of the blue, but you. But what is your sister to you? A loving family member. Well, I can see why you say that. I read all about sisters every day. Since you're blessed with a little sister, I want you to help me out with such. Help me taste the experience of a real little sister. <laughs> Let's see. Today, I want you to teach me what it tastes like when she changes. Now go. CHANGES?! 
I done that like many times already. Hey, little sister who dressed just like me. Yeah, it is off camera, by the way. We dressed the same, but the difference is yours is bigger than mine. Hey, something and now just go. Ugh, let's talk. What's up? Uh, change? Fine, as long as I get paid. Jeez, does it have to be like something else in this? Ugh. Head whale? I don't have anything to give, so I'm gonna go for this uniform, I guess. Okay, that's it. That's it? Yeah? Really? That's it? Appreciation mode? <laughs> I mean, I did this away like many times. You know, I'm gonna tease the views a little bit. So I want you to do a sexy pose. <laughs> Too bad, blow it. Ah, oh, you fucking weird. I'm done. The face. Don't tell mm. me. You had your lips changed for mm. real, and you had her changed into mm. we wanted. And that's why I'm paying you the big buck, <gasps> right? Yo, yo. Let me hear the what. How did it feel? Uh, it felt. Uh, I felt wrong. You're just being modest. Let me tell mm. you. You can be one and still be happy. <laughs> All right, books will be. Here's your pay. Jeez, I would rather kick your ass in anything. Uh, you know what? You're a bitch. Is he chasing me? Is he chasing me? I don't say. Oh, you funny dude. I'm about to say. You really about to try to kick my ass when I did that because you were being a weirdo. Change back to your it cosplay because it's my favorite one. It was kind of awkward. I dress better than you. <laughs> Go me with the client, the master. She's on the rooftop. Oh, hey servant. I need my um, favor. You're here. The master seems with you. Okay, here we go. I've been waiting for you. Do you like cherries, Jeremiah Senpai? I love cherries. How about you? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I love it when you're young for are honest with me. It makes it so much easier. Today, I'm actually to harvest cherries. Look through our bar and find some fresh cherries to harvest. What kind of cherries should I I'll leave it up to you. Do you to find one can start with? I'll be waiting. So I don't look for cherries? Oh my god! My guess is the cherries that I'm looking for is probably in the park. Maybe... I could be mistaken because cherries... She wants me to harvest some cherries apparently? Like, where or what? Um... That's some guy. Cherries in these trees. I don't know. Do I talk to some... <gasps> A cosplay who looks like me? Okay, excuse me, sorry. I'm a dude who likes to dress like girls for some reason. Um, I think it's me a store because I don't see any lying around. I could be mistaken. There's none here. I'm gonna go to the store and see if there's any. Cherries might be around here somewhere. Where can I look from here? Because it can't be right here or anything here. It could be in the store actually. I. Okay, let's start from this story. Dirt Rabbit. Um, do you sell any cherries? Uh, do you? These are nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Do I sell this until it was sex something? Never mind. I thought it was sexy. I want to sell something too, if you don't mind. Let me get rid of this. I don't need these. Because these I forgot to sell. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need these. I'm good. But the black suit? Hey, you know what? I think girl puzzle will be okay. I got so much money. I'm good. Okay. Okay. I don't see anything. Okay, what about that dude over there? Excuse me. Uh -huh. Do you sell any? I go to sell. Will you buy this for one of the end? What are you selling? This is hard to find. I don't know what was. We call them. What? Nah. Sorry. You're not selling cherry? I am out. Oh, excuse me? Okay. Can you start here? No? Damn, if it's not these, I guess we're going to... Okay, two more stories. Would I have any cherries here? What they? Do you have cherries? Excuse Welcome. me. This is a computer pie place, isn't it? Yep, there was none here. Thanks. Yeah, I'm out. There's nothing here. Yeah, no, I'm out. Welcome. I'm out. Thanks. Pretend I don't exist. 
Okay, next toy, no five. Welcome. Do you sell cherries? No, these are useless items. Okay, maybe the back streaks around here where I live has something. So let's start with this place, number two story. Welcome. Do you sell any cherries? Any of you? No, you do not It's just weapons. And how's that even allowed in Japan? That's kind of funny. Okay, what about this place? Oi. Welcome. Okay, I don't know about you, but you probably sell mostly clothing. Yep. I'm Thank out. Thank you very much. Dude, I'm not buying any shit. N eh, I'm out of there. Um, let's check back there. Okay, damage is made. That's actually an enemy, but for some reason they walk away from us. Don't know why. I'm trying to kill them too. Anything? Do you sell any? Welcome home, my master. Hello, CL. No, not food. Oh, oh wait, do you have anything? Never mind. Duh. You have none. You have none. I am out. Next thing is, if I pay you, I want you to strip off. Do you have any low items? Items? No, no, you don't. Uh, what is going on? Okay, let's check here. Welcome. Do you have any I could get? Like, no, really? You have none? Ultimate. Ugh. Thanks. There's literally none. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm suspecting cherries could be in this store right here. I mean, supposedly, yeah. I could be right. Welcome. I could be one. Because it's the only store that sells actual. That's a bunch of it. Do you have any. <gasps> you do! How many do I need? Uh, let's buy 10. Okay, objective done. Now let's go. I could have been a fussily. Now I'm getting cold and my nipples are hard from wearing this outfit. Hey, servant! I got what we need. Oh? The chair you're holding. Is that what you're turning in? That's right. Yeah. Alright, I'll call the master. Okay, cherries. Well, you bought the cherry. I see, so that cherry was you have to get me. I'm a little disappointed. That's not for you get her. Oh, we'll see, but I can hate you for trying, kid. Thanks, you can go on home now. Someday I'll call you to give you another cherry. I need this more exciting one. Nice job, here's your reward. No, I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do? Who doesn't need the harvest? Hey, okay, next side quest. On the staff member, Wannabe has been very, very on the job. Please find him to come back to the office. Our game has been developed for years and we're close to mastering all we sold, all we thought. Wild Bunny, one of our Dell here at Studio G3, just disappeared. I mean, we probably piled too much on his plate, but to ghost his team at a time like this is just not okay. Honestly, I like to fire him, but the fact that man is needs his skills to finish the game, please help us fight him. He's a smoker, so the now down where he's like to be. Drag his ass back down by the ankles if you have to. The thing is, I have no idea where he is, so I'm gonna go focus on the main quest. We are in N East Main Street. So what? What is he doing? You have enough. Don't bother running. We've got you this time. <laughs> Look who's here. Why would I run from you, Agent? You're gonna make a hell of a meal. You're not getting a drop of this, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You Nairo dogs do love your jobs, don't you? Do they give you treats if you catch us? Or is it just the money? It's not about the money. But there is a reward. It's peace. A world where people don't have to be afraid of things like you. If we have to go through you to get to that world, we'll do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, best excuse ever. You could do anything for peace, right? I mean, I'm not even being sarcastic here. You can chase us down, burn us all you want. We'll burn all the humans it takes to make our peace. You monsters with human faces. You don't belong. This is our world. Your world? Why? Because there's more of you? It's the insects' world, and that's how it works. It's not... We're more evolved than insects. We can do things they can. Yeah? Have you seen the shit we can do? Because... What now? Hey! Seriously? You again? You've been busy lately, haven't you? Are you ready? I yes. don't like these, huh? Just fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Be seeing you, little Miss Nairo. Next time, I'm gonna pop your head off like a champagne cork. Wait! 
How did it disappear like that? It's kind of weird. He got away again. I can't stop him like this. I really need that power. Oh, I'm fine. I thought I had him dead to rights, but thanks for stepping in. Next time, I'll know who to call first. Until then, take care. I'll see to the victim. I got an eel. Oh boy. So now we're going back to our master again. This is Mercy Jones and by Golden Master right now. She's in a state of extreme boredom. She's been boarding me with car ladies, no matter how busy I am. So now she's saying if I don't take care of her needs, she's stripped all my stuff naked and pale in the streets. Please just me go to her and see what she wants from me. What do you want, master? You really that boy, damn. She'd send someone higher up on the food chain. I ought to go yank her chain right now. You kind of march to your own drum, don't you? Anyway, let's do this. I want you to go run some errands for me. Specifically, I want you to go get my shopping done. By what? Let me see. One, top quality lotion. Two, professionally handmade rope. Electric massager. I want all three of those things. And one other thing. No cheap knockoffs. They aren't good enough for me. A real master knows the value of things. You're following along so far? Yes, ma'am. Good. You catch on quick. Now let me break it all down, step by step. Listen up. So the lotion comes first. You know what kind of lotion I'm talking about, yeah? I uh, no idea. Oh, really? Ah, you're adorable. What should I do with you? Maybe just cancel the errand and tease you? Hmm. Let's save that for next time. There are all kinds of lotions, but I'm looking for the slicker type. You can do plenty of things with that. Alone or with friends. You should try it sometime. Start with the cheap ones. They're more affordable for you. Now, when it comes to lotions, I've got one favorite brand. It works great as a lotion. Smooths out your skin. And you can do other things with it, too. Rub it all the way into your body. You can even eat it if you want to. It's not toxic. Uh, just uh, watch the expiration date. Eat it? What the hell? And it's got this classy sort of sweet Mm. Just thinking about it gets me drooling almost. Sweetness is what really sells it, I think. Anyway, yeah. I want to use it for massages and whatnot. Now for the rope. Well, I hope you know what rope is. These days, it's hard to find rope that's not that soft, cheap, foreign garbage. And forget the machine-made stuff. I want the kind of rope a professional weaver made out of the best material. And I want it hard enough leave a mark on a woman's skin when she's all tied up. I mean, you can make a mark with the cheap stuff, but it just falls apart right away. Forget that. And then, I need a high-powered electric massager. You probably know what I'm talking about there. The motor makes it go. The vibrations loosen up your body. Whichever part of your body you want, that is. Anyway, rumor has it there's this new massager with a super powerful high-tech Japanese motor. Too powerful for the hardware. So the vibrations are irregular, and you never get used to them. It's also waterproof, incidentally. There's a couple of different models, but I want the one with the AC adapter type. Gotta keep that power steady. You got all that? I don't want you coming back with some mustard, a chain, and a jackhammer. Now, off with you. Guess we're going to show for the master. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Shopping time for master. I'm gonna start with the NW Street and see if they have the lotion I need first to find. Hopefully, no one attacks me while I'm dressed like a woman with tits and they're bouncing up and down while I'm walking around. Hehehe, <laughs> I don't want to pop out by accident. No, this is a software star, but I don't know if they have any. Welcome. I don't know if you do have any lotions. Do you have any lotions? Um, no, you do not. I'm out of here. Thanks. That's a mistake. My bad. Nothing in particular. I'm gonna keep walking forward. 
Wait, that's only story? Really? Guess I'm going next stop. Okay, now we're in this side of the street. Now, let's see if they have a lotion for me to collect. Do you have one? Lotion. Welcome. Do you have a lotion? Do you? Do you have lotions? Accessories? I don't think you do. There's just mostly weapons here. I'm out of here. Yeah, that's illegal in Japan, by the way. But how is that allowed? So you were stuck? Hmm. Another software Welcome. shop? Check it out just in case. Uh, just mostly fighting. Nothing. Okay. Now I'm out of here. Let's go to the next stop. Now, SC Street. Let's see if you have lotion. Unless if I had to buy something that's cheap, but she don't want anything cheap. Welcome. Uh, do you have any? It's just mostly a so sweet. None of these. Thanks. I'm out. I'm out. There's literally none in the story. Uh, oh, look at you looking forward. Now, this is a clothing store. I don't know if you have any. Welcome. I don't think you have anything. It's just mostly outfits. Mostly outfits. Thank you very much. No lotion. I'm just going shopping for the master. Okay, maybe this store has it. Maybe? Do you have any? Do you have any? Do you have any? Lotion, 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 lotion. No, you do not. I'm out. Next stop. Now we're on this side of the street. And we're going to see if they sell any lotion. <sighs> okay, well, I'll talk to you. That's kind of funny. Now, thank God the music. Now, let's check you. Tony, Nana, Welcome. what do you call it? Do you sell lotion? Do you sell lotion? Do you? It seems she does, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm out. Now, they don't have anything. Are you serious? You must be joking. Hey, a cosplay up close. Now, let's check out Bio. I mean. Welcome. Okay, what about Bio? Does not the kill. Thanks. Okay, I'm out. That one. Um, do you know anything? No. Okay. Um, Welcome. what about this one? Does this store sell anything? Okay. Jellyfish? Oh, they do. Um, let's see. Those are. Okay. Ooh, I did. Hey, we finally found something, actually. Okay, snowball lotion. I'll take this one. That's one. Thank you. Okay, we actually did find something. Next list. Oh, you sell up too! Okay, never mind that. An electric approach. Huh? Is it this one she needs to? Oh, this store sells everything. Okay, I finally found a story. Okay, back to Master. Master! Well, Southern, you think that's good enough for the Master? You're still not getting it. Now, listen, here's what the Master wants a sweet and move for your skin? Wait. So the one uh, I got was not those. Um, I guess uh, not. I'm going back. I'm selling this. I'm selling this, and I'm selling this. Do you sell what I need? Welcome. I need to be careful. Look carefully. Um, that's quick value. Da, da, da. No, these are mostly bugs. I'm going back and back again. Hey, this toy. It's a discount toy. Welcome. Uh, hold up. I'm gonna look very carefully. <laughs> a well lotion. This is not cheap. So I got a snowball one. And we'll see. Uh, when it's part, it can still be used to talk to the It's not the classiest sweetness. So, which one does it need exactly? Um, sparkling lotion pro, maybe, I guess? I can tell it's back I wanted to. So, oh, there's three different kinds. I take it back. I didn't look at that. The author will. Um, uh, see, can full high tech viper. It has such a high tech to touch the scratch of one's skin. Um, I don't think I'll buy the. I think I'll buy the top one. Probably this one. Okay, got that one. Um, I think the one I would need now is probably the one with the waterproof one, right? Yeah, that's those two. There's two of them. Uh, let's get the electric one. Okay, if it's not these, I am gonna come back again. That's what happened earlier. Hey, you're servant! I bought the right one, right? 
Oh my god, you serious? What well, if I buy all these three, and all these three, and these three, and see what happens? I mean, if this actually will be kind of funny. <laughs> if not, what the fuck? I bought everything! Oh, that worked. Hilarious! That actually worked! Okay! I'm gonna get married and do some work. Like, really? Okay, you happy? I don't have the three items. Great. I'm going nine. Good work. Uh, you can run along home now. What's okay. with that look you got there? Uh, where's my reward? Ooh. Spoken like a man who knows what he wants. But all right, just because I'm bored for running my errands, I'll teach you a new move. It goes along with the cosplay techniques from the other day. I'm going to teach you. How to strip idol outfits. Okay. What are the kids around here like these days? DBP, right? I've only spotted them once myself, but I can tell they're popular. Probably because they look so tasty. When I saw that succulent fruit, I. What? What? You come? I'm starting to ramble. Let's oh. get back on track. Idol outfits are a lot like cosplay outfits in some ways, but they're usually more durable. Sometimes, they're fitted real snug, so that makes them hard to get at. Not easy to strip. Not at all. If you want to get a clean strip, you'll need a more advanced technique than you've been using. Now, use what I've taught you and make it your own. Okay, is this a dude again, I'm guessing? Why? Where'd they bounce? What? Your eyes say you want more. Just when I finally had everything they actually, all set up. They just jiggled my eyes! Oh! Fine, let's do this. Okay, let's fight. If I will this, if I could will this, that'd be kind of nice. Keep swing away. I'm too powerful. I'm just too powerful. Uh, uh, you stop, you stop. Uh, uh. Oh my god. You're making me fluster a little bit. And then, that's it. You're just like a bitch. Ah, don't look! What do you mean, don't look? Okay! Good! You've learned the technique. Now practice it in real combat. In real combat? I mean, I've been doing it more often. I spotted Sadako Mido peeking, and I captured her. Oh my. <laughs> nice of you to come. Oh, I was just performing a wellness check. On him. Is that right? Uh, absolutely. Well, now that I've got all these nice little items. Wait a minute. You come over here. Your body will say if you're lying. Oh, I see why I bought this for her. I, I have work to do. Here, hurry up. Now. Yes, ma'am. I know I. Home now. and I have a little tease. I know I bought that for her. Oh boy. <laughs> right. We have a little training to do. <laughs> we'll be training for a while. Go on. Uh, whoa, what the? Uh, ow! Uh oh. The, the world master is a harsh one. one. I mean, she's basically fingering her. What's going on? Make her. You know. I got an email. Oh boy. Stop so BTS plans. Hey, not yet. Oh, well, I'm gonna avail. Nice subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.